used uh, the next act used to be someone that came along to watch and uh, eventually plucked up the courage to ask to go on and that's what the, the whole thing about the comedy crisis is all about just people trying it out and wanting to uh, give it a bash so ladies and gentlemen I want you to go absolutely wild for a man that started as one of you and is now grown in our hearts to be one of our favourites here it is Mr Andy Vannon <laughs> Hello, 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 is it me you're looking for? Is it me you're looking for? I, I'll tell you something, my birthday was, my birthday was about six weeks ago and and I thought, you know, fuck it, why why not be why not be a bit badass, you know, I'm gonna be twenty three for fuck's sake. So I thought right, on my way to a mate's house I've tried a bit of acid. I was walking down I was walking down Pollockshaw's Road and I mistook the Arnold Clark showroom for a sex parlour. I went in, bloody hell yes, I went in and indeed yes I did re- receive a ride. But it wasn't the one I expected. I left ten grand lighter and I made a hasty co- get away with my cock flat in the way and went because I didn't close the door on my fucking Skoda and also my warranty's void and I've still got a fucking ban. Fuck off, Arnold Clark. I've got your car. <laughs> oh, and also another thing, um, central heating burst last week and I had to phone up the uh, landlord, which is GHA. Fun times and all that shit. But what it had was, the guy came out and whilst he was out, I was playing away with the Xbox and about 20 minutes later, I put my heat up and says, All right, did, uh, have you got it fixed yet? And he, he says, um, I'm sure I've got it fixed, but I'm going to have to check your flange first. Oof, fucking hell, man. I've, I've never tried this shit before, but you know what? I'm, I'm up for getting at a shop. Well, more of a story, like, uh, 55 minutes later, the central heating was working absolutely perfectly and both him and I had a smile upon our face. <laughs> I, never, I never knew GHA gas men uh, were so open to seducing their customers. Imagine, I, imagine if I get a lecky guy out, you know, he'd be fucking dying up to the wall and fucking shoving the electric shit up my ass. <laughs> For fuck's sake. This is, quite, this is quite, uh, working out quite well, by the way. I'll tell you something, there's a, a warehouse up near my bit and they've had to get the exorcist in. They, th- they think the ghosts have become a, a wee bit too far, in their opinion. I'll tell you what, uh, what they're thinking. The ghosts are getting a bit too kinky. They're getting into Bukaki. <laughs> I, I say, who, who, like, who likes wildlife and shit like that? <laughs> yeah. Who likes wildlife? Anyone went to Edinburgh Zoo? Yeah. Anyone like it? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's an unusual buzz. But, hold on, I've got to smash that in half, by the way. Like, what, what does it... What, what's the common denominator between a turkey baser, rehypno, gloves and Edinburgh? The pandas. And, and before I go any further, I see anybody that works in the Edinburgh Zoo and the zoo de- uh, the panda department is a fucking disgusting bastard. How dare you? Animal cruelty. Fucking first indictment, by the way. How fucking dare you do that when pandas are sleep? Disgusting. Uh, I'm going to talk about some phrases that I really, really don't understand. You know, you've probably heard phrases in your life that you go, what the fuck? Who who invented this shit? Like, uh, I'll I'll say, for instance, there's there's a a neighbour up where we missed Sir Logan. He he was talking about a a neighbour a couple couple of uh, houses down, and he says, oh, I see her, I see her, she, she's, a, she's a proper slut, she's got fanny like one King's Cross. <laughs> Mr Logan, with all due respect, I don't fucking believe you. Do, do you see a person up on a sun deck out around the backfire in East Coast Intercity trains at a vagina via Newcastle, Durham and Darlington? I don't fucking think so, you can jog on with a freak signs, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> 
And, and there are phrases I really don't understand, you know, that it's got to have a very, a very cutting way of talking to folk, you know, they have very, very sharp insults, but I think this, the following, is an utter duff insult. You know, you hear people going, oh, blah, 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 she's a wanker, he's a wanker, blah, 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 oh, for fuck's sake, oh, you know. I don't, I don't understand the phrase, a wank. I mean, why call, why call somebody that in an insultative derogatory term? I mean, people, all people, men, lady, transsexuals, transformers, enjoy a fucking good wank. I, I just don't understand it. I mean, it's, it's also along the same lines of, you probably heard people saying, oh, blah, 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 in an argument. Oh, can we go suck dick? I mean, like, <laughs> what? How, how the fuck's this an insult, baby? I mean, like, let's be honest, all lads like their dicks getting sucked. And, and don't think the girls are fucking immune to shit either, you know. They fucking enjoy a bit of, you know, the cunnilingus, you know, they fucking, they fucking love it, light a left right and I mean, that kind of insult is so stupid. But I mean, that, that's a bit like, um, that's a bit like saying to someone, oh, oh can, you know, oh, can we go play with your Xbox, or, or you know, or maybe saying, oh, you know, you're, you're such a fucking breaking bad, or something the equivalent, or, oh, oh shut your hole, you babe station, you, you know? <laughs> It's really actually, it makes absolutely no sense. Another thing it really does, another thing it really does confuse the shit out of me, like, you probably heard uh, Tom Dale recently had got a new boyfriend, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but the only thing I, I critique is, the, guy, the guy's nearly twice Tom's fucking age. I mean, if I was Tom Daly, I, I, would, I would rather pick somebody of my own age, because, let's be honest, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather a nice tight small ass, or, you know, a bit clothy, you know. And, and the other thing is, the other thing is, you know, if, if you're rattling them up the jacks, eh, you know, you'd, you'd rather them enjoy an orgasm as opposed to a heart attack because if, if, you, if you have to get pulled up to a coroner's office to explain your actions during coitus, you know, it's not an enjoyable situation, especially if you, you start to learn the, the fucking coroner's office bloody address. It's no good. Um, and, and just as a just as a read kind of thing, I'm going to round up on. Um, you've probably seen that viral video of Goff saving to Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm going to do something. I'm going to add something else to the Goff's Raving Two uh, supply. So um, I'm just going to connect up the phone. Hello. Just two seconds. Technology by me. So I hope you enjoyed and it was a pleasure entertaining you.